James here from RC Car TV 100 with my review of HBI Barger versus a Roven Barger in this case or any clone King Motor or whatever other ones there are other than that okay so I'll start off with just saying they're both great cars just to begin all HBI people are going to be talking always saying oh why are you in a Roven that shit that shit Shut up and watch the video first. I'm not saying either one of these is good or bad at the moment. I'm going to go individually by the specs of the car's stock. This car, as you can see, is pretty much not stock. It's got this Noah engine, the turtle racing, clutch, that, that whole sort of thing. And this thing is more leaning towards the stock side, other than the engine and the shoe and the electronics and the carby, otherwise, and the tyres. Otherwise, this thing is basically stock. There's not too many things that I've pipped out on this. Now, Roven people do not start saying, oh, the reason you haven't popped him, pimped this out as much as this is because HBI is shit. That is not the case. So, shut up. The reason this is pimped out, I got it second hand. I had lots of money at the moment. I got it. I didn't want to pimp out a clone. I simply wanted to get a good HBI car. End of story. Right, so, I'll start off with the end. HBI engines. This one isn't at the moment, this is a Zanoa, but a HBI engine is not a HBI engine. It's actually a CY engine. CY engines are sort of one of the more high-end engines in a car for, for a barger. However, in the clones, Roven, King Motor and all them, they all make their own engines. So this one at the moment, this one is a King Motor engine I got out of my other barger. This has got a CY head on it. So that's the difference. The quality of a HBI engine from standard is obviously better. So CY is a more renowned brand, however, Roven engines, they're only put in Roven cars. There's no idiot out there that's going to buy a Roven engine other than any other. There's, there's just no point. They're, they're not that good quality. That's something to start off with the engines. But that's the thing. HBI does not make their engines. CY does. That's why the quality of it is better. However, with the Roven, it is their own product. So I have to say, the quality of the HBI Barjar engine is better than in this. But for the price of the engine, these are still pretty good price. Obviously, a stock HBI engine is going to be more, because you're paying for the name and the quality of a CY engine, what you'd expect anyways. And for these, you can pick these up like 200 bucks off anywhere really, and these are more, around 250 300 dollars for a reason. Okay, we'll go to the quality of the metals, or the plastics, the like arms and all that. HBI Barger, as you mostly know, it comes with plastic parts. It's 90% plastic, the car, other than the chassis and all that. Correct, the diff case is plastic on both. The arms on a stock HBI Barger are plastic. Same with the clones on a standard clone. This one came alloy when I got it. Don't... Now, do not start typing again, saying that HBI plastics are better. That is bullshit. They come from the same factory, from, from where we get them from anyway. I work in a hobby shop. I know where the orders come from. HBI arms come from the same location as the Roven arms. So it's obviously the same plastic. Many HBI people will say HBI is better quality arms because the car costs more. Bullshit. At Bargemania, though, oh, so many people breaking parts on the HBI barjars, barger mania, out of my two barjars, all we went through was one diff because it's locked. Otherwise, we lost about three screws and nothing broke. So that's, so that's, I'm not leaning towards Rovens or clones at the moment. I'm still saying that at the moment, they're, they're equal at the moment. That's judging by the quality. Okay, clutches. Clutches on the, on the HBIs, hundred times better than on a clone. I just chucked in a DDM shoe on this barger and my other barger simply for the reason it's three times the quality of a, of a Roven or a King Motor clutch. HBIs, the CYs or HBIs as their own clutches are in the carriers and all that, they're all the same sort of thing. Yeah, okay so the electronics, you know, 
HBI standard electronics are terrible, absolutely terrible. I would not buy HBI electronics to save my life. However, on the clones case, this is where clones really, really stand up against the HBI barger. Their electronics are better, their remotes are better quality, their servos are 15 times better. Steering and the throttle. The steering's not as much of a serious matter as if it dies, the car doesn't go taking off into a fence or maybe even hitting someone or in the worst case killing someone if it was a child. So straight away on the HBIs, if you haven't got one or you just got into it, change it out. I put a um, Savox 25 kilo in mine. That was around $100, $120 from my hobby shop. But that's a reasonable price. Reasonable price for a 25 kilo metal geared server. I'm not sure if the um, throttle and steering servers in the HBI are metal geared. Correct me. Please tell me if they are or not. Okay, so clone wins at the m I'd have to say they're probably about even at the moment. Quality of the metals, however, on a on a clone, they're weaker. These here, as you can see. Okay, so as you can see on a Roven, uh, on my Roven, however, I've got these here. So this metal is expanding from impact. This is expanding out. So I've got four electrical tires on this side, and this one's came off. So, but that one's not as bad. So that's a problem with these. The metal is weaker. And now on the metals on the barger, on the HPR barger, this brace is turtle racing. But trust me, I know the the braces on the standard ones, or here it is stronger. My dad's already went through one of these braces cracking like that for no reason. Absolutely no reason at all, just breaking for absolutely just stupid reasons. So that this is another one where HBI is in the lead now. And this comes down. The overall quality of the car leans towards HBI. Better metals, better dog bones and everything. I can't really review this car as is as a HBI bar jar as as 90% of it's upgraded. So yeah, right now the pipes. Everyone's the good thing is sorry. The good thing about some clones, not all, they can come with power pipes. This pipe is it's a decent pipe. This came standard with my this is my 30.5 cc barger. This came standard with it. It does produce a decent amount of power. I mean for the cost of this car. These retail, this fully alloy with everything all done. Probably these retail for about a thousand or fourteen hundred dollars. A standard HBI barger, the standard muffler, 2.0 electronics, just plastic arms and all that. They're about 1400 to fifteen hundred dollars in Australia. However, so the quality of the HBI barger, you would expect to be more standard. That is not the case. That is absolutely not the case. Plastic arms. Plastic is plastic. They're the same on the Roven and the and on the HBIs. So that's something about these that isn't good. The pricing of both. The pricing of these for what you get is a great deal. Yeah, there may be some faults on it. Fair enough for a thousand thousand bucks you get this big piece of bling and everything. Some of you may be typing away saying that the alloy is crap. Alloy is crap. It is not crap. I've had this car for about eight months. I've never snapped any piece of alloy on mine. It, you could say that HBI alloys, or well, the parts of it that are, are better quality. Yes, but for the price of this, this is where really where this comes in. This is this is what makes a clone a clone. This is why I own one. For the price is what you get. Yes, it is cheaper. Yes, some of the parts of it are weaker. But by the time you upgrade them to better parts than, than the standard HBI has, it is still cheaper. Like, as I was saying earlier, the shoe in a Roven or a King Motor or whatever, I have both barger. It's less quality. It wears down five times as fast. Put that in. That's around $60 here in Australia. So around to $1,060 on this. These, however, when they wear, most people would go for the upgraded clutch. $60 on this. About in Australia, they're about had to be about $1,560. So it's still f about $500 leeway on the HBI. I mean, on the Roven car, that's enough to get an engine bet like twice as good as a CY engine, or upgrade to RPM arms, or whatever you wanted to do to it. Okay, 
now leaning now many people will getting be, be, be getting pissed off at me for saying that the Rovins are better move towards these now the overall quality of the car I would say is the HPI the overall quality of it is better engine quality alloys the plastics are the same the dog bones are better I'd have to say the diffs are five times as strong as in a clone they're, they're just disgusting in the clones plastics are the same alloys better the HPI ones if I'm not mistaken they come with Walbro carbies from standard these don't some of them do in this in my case it didn't this one's got a Walbro on it and the, another thing about this it comes with a muffler that's the thing that I, I do not like about the HPIs paying $1500 and they don't even give you a decent pipe it's not even a pipe it's a pissy little black muffler for $1,500 you'd expect a little bit more than a muffler especially when they're putting such a low CC engine a 23cc engine on, on standard so that that's a fault of the HPI right sorry about that I'll go back to this yeah the alloys are better the air filters yeah they're the same but yeah back to the carbies the carbies on the on these standard they do die they're not that good they're, they're to be honest terrible carbies bearings in these not as good diffs on these no comparison compared to one of these clutches no comparison compared to a HPI shockies no comparison compared to a HPI these are terrible shockies end of story there's no more to say about it they are terrible that's a good thing about the HPI the shockies are better quality plastic roll cage same story plats the same sort of plastic there's no com you can't compare them electronics yeah I've went through All right, I'll go to the radios on on the rovens the radios are can be better they can they're good they're decent for the price of the car like the average clones in Australia in a retail store is about six hundred dollars up all the way up to about fifteen hundred dollars on a clone the radios however still lack this one from standard came with the fly sky I've got that separate so I'm about to sell this car that's not a reason of quality it's simply a reason of I've got too much cut too many cars and this the radio is just disgusting it's just disgusting the quality of it servos the electronics and HPI overall is terrible even on their electric cars and everything servos ESC's everything that is a lack of HPI that is definitely a lack tires from standard I'll just get them these tires here I'm not sure if you can see them well these were the standard Roven tires that came with my barger on the left the Roven one they're pretty good, they're, they're thick, they do get grip, they don't wear down nearly as easily as a HPR tires, they get three times the grip the standard HPR tires are tiny little spikes, smaller than on these Proline Badlands they wear, they get no grip, it just spins out, even with a small powered motor then it's, that it comes stock with so that's a problem with the HPI these, the standard clone does come with the same tires but I got a more pimped out clone, obviously it came with the the Proline bow tires, as they like to, as they look like. Okay, so that's a fold of this, and that's a fold of this. They're just copying other tires. I don't like that. Some of you may say, "Yeah, well, Roven copied, copied HPI. They didn't copy. They made it cheaper, cheaper alternative to it." As you may still be thinking, I am defending clones, and that alone, I'm not defending clones. I'm simply saying my personal opinion. Okay, now I'll end this up sort of fast for, for oh shit. No. Okay, so I've went over all those sort of things. The chassis on these, the chassis on a on a um, Roven, weak. I see tons of these chassis coming in with the fronts bent up and everything. I've never had anyone come in with a HPI car needing a chassis. That is a good thing. That is a very good thing. Chassis are probably are uh, the most expensive standard part on the car other than the engine so all the some of the electronics so that is very good that these chassis are good that's what HPI has done well they have made some of the weakest and most important points of the car strong as I said on this it's weak I've got a reinforced plate on mine simply so that doesn't happen 
So that is definitely the problem. The metals on these are less quality. Right, I'll end this up now quickly with two decisions. Quality, this. The price of what you, the price of what you pay for and what you get, this. Overall, I'm going to get lots of shit for this, but I have to say it goes to the clone. The price of it is cheap. What you get is decent, better electronics. The engines are less quality, but still for the price of the car to upgrade to something like on a HPI engine or even better, it's the car's still going to be cheaper than what you pay for for a HPI car. So I have to give it to this. The quality of it, they're, they're brilliant for the price. Electronics is better. Some of them come with a pipe. It's they're just. I have to say, I'm happy with this car. I'm very happy with it. Price I paid for it. I've really got my money's worth. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Even those Roven haters and King Motor haters or HBI lovers or either way, I hope you both of you, both of you people from the community enjoyed this. Well, my opinion, HBI vs Clone. Cheers.